Hey, it's Saturday night and we're live. <laughs> hey, everybody. Well, tonight is squash with wild rice stuffing. So I've got things ready to go here. I used kabocha squash and I cooked them all and then in the instant pot, two different uh, two different batches. And there's four squash there cut in half and deseeded. And then I cut up the veggies for the stuffing. And I'm ready to go here. So let's get cooking. There's a cup of onion, and I put them through my, my grater, which I'll show you what I mean by that. You probably all have one, but I love these things. Oh, let's see. Here it is. It's this. So you hook this on. Top hooks onto the bottom. I'm supposed to here. Oh, if I have it going the right way, it works better. There's a little tab at this end. And it hooks right on. And then this hooks on at the end here. Everything's harder in this direction. There we go. That hooks in. And then you can put different things on the, the bottom here. And that's what I did. I had this small grater. And you put the fruit or the vegetable here. And you go like that. And it, and it sends it right through and grates it. So you get these nice size grated vegetables. There's a big grate and a smaller grate. So, I, I made that caesar salad for lunch to go with the Burgers Italiano, and it was pretty good. And it was just uh, romaine and red pepper, and then the dressing was white bean, garlic, a tablespoon of raisin, uh, a couple of tablespoons of mustard, some Italian seasoning, and a half a cup of water. And you just put it in the blender, mm -hmm. and then you mixed it in with the, the Caesar salad. And that was the Caesar salad. Oh, and you sprinkle some uh, pepper, ground some pepper over it. It was really good. Different. You know, it's nice to have something different. This reboot really helps me to... Just do something a little different so it's not always the same thing. So we had that in the burgers and some boiled yellow potatoes for lunch. Probably want to see what I'm doing rather than... Okay, so here it is. Caramelizing those onions. And then I've got some garlic. And uh, this was, I don't know, several cloves. <laughs> I think she just called for, oh, I can look here. Six cloves garlic, minced. And I put those through the small grater, and then I chopped them a little bit more with my knife. All right. Well, you know, I was going to do it on the stove side, but the, the lighting, it was so bright with the sun that I didn't dare, so... I'm over here, and I don't have the fan. This is my kabocha squash uh, pot liquor. It's good to drink, too. So, you just... Um, Put the celery and the and the carrots. So I got my carrots, and each of them is a cup. And my celery. Okay. 
And we'll just cook this down till it's soft. And then we're going to add the wild rice and, and then stuff the squashes and cook the squashes. And I want to look here and see. Cook the squash for 30 minutes. But the squashes are pretty much already cooked. It's just heating the whole, and this will be warm. But I think what I'll do, we haven't had our afternoon walk yet, so I'll get them all ready, and then we'll go for our walk, and then I'll come back and stick them in the oven for a half an hour. That'll be perfect. So I think I'll even stick the top on here. And let those cook. And I'll show you how the sprouts are doing. And give them a rinse. So the sprouts looked good enough today that I just I kept them out. So they've just been sitting on the counter all day after I rinsed them this morning. And now I'll rinse them for the second rinsing. Here's my other one. And those jars will fill right up by tomorrow. So tomorrow, I'll stick them right in the windowsill, right in front of the, the sunshine. If we get some sunshine tomorrow. For breakfast, I did, um, I did zucchini in the breville, roasting it. And then I did the lip smacking kale in the, the same pan that I'm doing the stuffing in right now. And then on the stove, I uh, steamed Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower, and green beans. And that was sure good. <laughs> so we had lots of veggies for breakfast this morning. And we just, we, we were kind of low on veggies, so I just, a bunch of cooking. So that was fun. And, and then, like I say, we had the burgers for lunch and the salad. And then the, the wild rice stuffing. And I'm using the uh, leftover wild rice and mushroom from last, I think it was the first week's recipe. The wild or the mushroom wild rice. Um, and actually, there's a little bit of the curry in a hurry from the first week, too, because uh, I, I need it a little bit, because Stephen loves rice, so whenever I make it, he he has to have some. So uh, I've always got plenty of rice. In fact, if I was low today, I had some brown rice in the fridge that I could have put in there and, and made up for any, any of the four cups necessary. Oh, this is doing quite well. So I made soy milk today. And oh, I cooked a whole bunch of oak roots. And Stephen, he, he didn't want to do the oak roots. He's got flakes. And then uh, I said, no problem. And then he ran out of flakes. He, he forgot to make some because he, he tends to make his own. Um, but he gets busy because he's doing his vanity and his, he's making his, his bathroom vanity right now. And um, so he didn't have oats one morning. He said, is it okay if I eat some of the groats? I said, sure, there's plenty. Because I do Susanna's recipe where she's doing it for eight people, but I do it just for me and I freeze it. And then I just have oats for, for a long time. And actually I... I haven't been eating oat groats except that on the reboot, there are a, a lot of the times they're in, in the for breakfast. So I've been been eating them, really enjoying them. And I do the savory. 
Like I did the, the oats with the kale and onion and garlic this morning. Boy, that was sure good. So Carrie and John do that a lot. And I I just think it's it's great. So oh, so Stephen, he had the oak roots and now now he wants oak roots. So I just made a whole bunch more. I said, you bet I got lots of oak roots, honey. You go ahead and help yourself. You know, it's, it's all the better for me that he's going more and more to the more um, whole food. And even, you know, for a while, it was always do use the air fryer. But now he's getting more like he likes to make things into a soup and have more of the water, boiled steam. It's just great. He's getting healthier and healthier. At 75, you know, like every little bit helps. So well, these look pretty good. Okay, so then what's next? Here we go. Stir in the apples. So here's, I did this, used that same little machine to do these apples. And that's two cups of, of apple. And these are just Fuji's. It's what I had. So it's what I'm using. Add that in. A little bit more pot liquor here. So we just had our Saturday check-in. And as usual, it was wonderful. We check in with each other on the Chef AJ's site every Saturday at 2 o'clock. And it was originally going to just be an hour long, but Zena is such a sweetie. She stays till four and actually they were going over. So I just uh, had to leave because I wanted to do this before I, we go out on our walk. And then we like to eat dinner before a certain time to do some of the intermittent fasting. And so um, I don't know. They were still going strong when I left it at a little after four. <laughs> So we meet on, on uh, Saturdays and Wednesdays, and it's just, it's really nice. I mean, the weeks go by so fast. I can't keep up. Okay, so then, oh, we need poultry season. Oh, I got to get the poultry season. I know right where it is. I shouldn't have said that because as soon as I say I know where something is, it won't be there, right? Now, let's see here. I'm pretty sure it's in here. And there it is. Poultry seasoning. So, well, that'll make a dressing, huh? How much? A teaspoon. No, all right. We can do that. Okay, so what does it say? Add the parsley and the wild rice. Okay. I'll let that go for a little bit longer. So I have to do this alone tonight because all the girls are still in, in the chat for the, the two o'clock show. <laughs> but it's just been a beautiful day, sunny but cold. I'm really glad I did all the yard work yesterday because, well, not all the yard work, but I worked all day in the yard yesterday. But uh, today is would not be the day to be out there. But as long as we bundle up and keep moving, walking definitely. That's we we're we're a little we're kind of addicted to our walks. Um, so let's see here what we got. Hmm, those apples smell good. Oh yeah, that's pretty nice. All right, so I've got parsley. What's she say for parsley? She says a cup. A cup of finely chopped parsley. And I just chopped that with my knife. Like so. Mix that in. And then we'll add the rice. And then we'll stuff the squashes. Whoops, sorry. Too many things to think about. All right, so... Let's get this in there. 
So this is my wild rice with mushroom and a little bit of the, the curry in a hurry from week one. And like I say, I just froze it for the week. So, and I just thought it today. And there we have, there's our stuffing. Just a little poultry season, and that'll really make it feel like stuffing. It's looking pretty good, wouldn't you say? Looking like the real deal. So tomorrow's the pod potluck, my first one. Can't wait. And I, what I did is I got out, I had so much of the sweet potato chili from last week. I just froze three jars of it, and I'm, I got it thawed. I'm going to heat that up and take that tomorrow. And then I'm going to make that butterscotch pudding. That's so good. So I cooked up three orange yams today in preparation for that. And then uh, I'm going to make Tammy, not make notebook, uh, Tammy Kramer's corn muffins if I have time. So I'll do the muffins and the pudding in the morning because those muffins, they really are the best. Fresh. And the pudding I'll do first thing and it'll, it'll have time to set up. Not, not that it needs much to set up. Okay, so then you just add the poultry season. So, oh, cook it for a minute. We're good to go. Here we go. it in. Start to stick a little. And let's turn this off. A bounty. So, all right. That looks pretty good. So, and then we've got our squashes right here. A couple of stray seeds. And all we got to do now, oh, hi, Stephanie. Good to see you. Are you making these stuffed squashes for tonight? Let's see what the best way is. If I should bring them over to the, to the, uh, Stuffing or bring the stuffing over to them and get it nice and like so. That looks pretty good, huh? Let's try one. Oh. Two, the first two that I cooked, they cooked all the way through. And I'm not sure what happened there because the, then the next ones, I cooked them in the same Instant Pot and they didn't cook all the way through. But they were a different color. So I thought that was kind of interesting. You know, we grew these kabocha squashes, squashes in our own garden. So I don't know. Can you get and And we got the seeds, right, just from squashes that we ate. So... I don't know if that makes a difference. And does it make a difference if they're not organic? Actually, the seeds for these came from their seeds from last year. So these, these were organic seeds. I don't know. Would it work? I don't even know. I got to learn more about seeds. I don't know if I told you guys, but I've been listening to YouTubes on back to Eden and it's a gardening technique and um, he uses wood chips and 
oh, leaves and, and grass, you know, the natural lawn waste, I guess you'd say. And he doesn't have to fertilize. He doesn't have to weed hardly. He makes this beautiful wood chip floor, you could say, of his property where his garden is. And then he, he plants in the dirt, but he uses the, the wood chips to cover the dirt. And it just keeps restoring the dirt again and again. And he just gets crop after crop of beautiful whole food. And it turns out he just lives not far from me, you know, like within an hour's drive. So I called him up and I said, I'd, I'd love to come see your garden. So I'm going to go up with Stephen next Friday. And meanwhile, I've been implementing what he does. And so yesterday I got out the weeds that I could and Edgar helped me. He's my, he's our, our renter and he does stuff for us. He helped me get all the, the, we got a couple of bins with yard waste in it and we have trees on our property. So we have to get downed branches from storms chipped. And I mean, you can burn them, but we'd rather ship them. And now we could spread them over our whole yard and it would just be good for it now that I know. And doesn't that sound attractive? Not ha not to have to use any pesticides. I mean, not that I've used any. I, I just can't. I can't bring myself to do it because it'd be harmful. So the only thing is the deer. I don't know. I guess we're going to have to build fences because we love having the deer in the yard. And, uh, you know, I'll tell you, they're, they're, they're pretty good about our garden, but the thing that they can't resist is the baby shoots on the fruit trees. Oh, Stephanie, Jesse. Hi, Jess. <laughs> I'm just talking away to myself here. <laughs> oh, oh, that's funny. So Stephanie thought she posted an unhappy smile, and that's why she reposted. <laughs> Oh, the recipe is from Secrets. Hi, Mary. It's from Secrets to Weight Ultimate Weight Loss. Weight loss. Um, it's uh, it's right next to the uh, acorn squash, acorn squash with wild rice stuffing, and it's on page one hundred and fifty-two in Secrets. Oh, Gina gonna, is going to come on, but we just spent two hours on the check-in. Jesse, were you on the chat? Oh, hi, Gina. You crazies. Hey, look what I'm up to. All I did is I, I had all this stuff chopped up and I just stuck it all in and, and heated it up, cooked it. And now I'm stuffing these squashes and then I'm going to go walking. And then you just cook them for 30 minutes just to, you know, get it all heated up together. But I think I can get it all on here. What do you guys think? I'm, I've almost got it all. You can't see it, but it's almost gone. You know, one, one fun thing about this way of cooking is you can taste things and you know there's nothing in there that's that you can't have. So I'll go ahead and test this. Make sure it's, you know, passable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So it's carrot, celery, apple, onion, garlic. What's not to like, huh? Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, Gina, I won't keep you long. Mmm-mm-mm. <laughs> that was going to be good. Boy, who knew the combination of vegetables and fruit is so yummy? Mmm. Sprouts. Mm, taking your sweet potatoes out of the oven. Yeah, those, those smell so good. Actually, none of you were here. But the sprouts, I've, I've taken them outside now. I think, Stephanie, you were the only one here. See how they're nice and full? Remember how it was just seeds? Isn't it amazing the transformation these sprouts go through? <laughs> I just can't get over it. 
Even since I rinsed them, it looks like the jars are more full. So I'll have to take a picture of that for Instagram, huh? Half the time I forget to take a picture. So I'm going to cook it in the breville for a half hour when I get back. Um, so where do I get my seeds from? To tell you the truth, you know, the last two years, we've been so focused on the remodel. We haven't, we haven't really focused on, you know, where to get the seeds. Now I get the, the, the broccoli sprouts from Johnny's seed company and then they were out. So I got these latest ones from, um, true, true leaf, I think. But, um, this fella that's back to Eden does the documentary back to Eden. He recommends either Johnny's or fed. Let me look. It's Fedco. Let's see here. I'm taking all kinds of notes. Fedco, F-E-D-C-O. And Johnny Seeds here. I've got a catalog. Just came yesterday. And I was looking through the whole catalog yesterday at all the veggies. Johnny selected seeds and they don't use anything bad. They use all good ingredients, he says. Um, but up until, you know, the last couple of years, <laughs> we've used uh, seeds from organic vegetables that we bought, cuttings from organic vegetables. Uh, friends gave us tomato starch last year and they were wonderful. No, it wasn't. It was the first year. And then last year I was at Rite Aid. And they had uh, cherry tomatoes, and I got those, and they were delicious. And uh, one time we were at the Goodwill, and we they had little seed packets. Who knows where they came from? This is, you know, originally when we knew nothing. And I just wanted to start to grow my own food. So, but now we will, I, I'm hoping that we can get some things from this fella Paul in Gardner. And we'll probably, a lot of things you can get just from your own, just getting organic food and, and taking cuts off the organic food and getting it started and then planting it. Some things you can just stick in the dirt. Like I heard with, with celery, you can just take organic celery and cut off the bottom and just stick it in the dirt. So YouTube, YouTube's teaching me a lot. <laughs> and there's sure a lot of different ideas out there. So uh, pick one and, and give it a try. Let's play. Let's let's grow our own food. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get going. I Now the sun's gone. The wind's kicked up, of course. But I've got layers. And that always saves me. And uh, oh, Jennifer. Hey. Hey, Jennifer. Here's the here's the stuffed squash. There you go. And it's ready to go in. So I was just going to say goodbye because uh, I want to go for my walk. And then I'm going to go, um, I'm going to put it in the oven for 30 minutes and it'll be good to go. So <laughs> I figured you guys don't want to stay on any longer because uh, you've been on for hours now already. So it's something, you know, that's the nice thing about this. You could watch it later. <laughs> Take care, everybody. And uh, tomorrow's a potluck, so I don't know if I'll be on tomorrow. I can't remember what is the dinner tomorrow night. Oh, it's the it's the mushroom. Um, the mushroom. I just have such a problem with that second word. Mushroom. Jennifer, I need your help again. Mushroom. All right. Well, whatever it is, it's with the portobello mushrooms. I always want to say rigatoni, but it's not rigatoni. Portobello. No. Anyway, it, you guys will see. It's on the, <laughs> the last day of the reboot. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Yeah, it's enlightened, but the, the last word, stroganoff. Stroganoff. Thanks, Gina. The mushroom stroganoff tomorrow night. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>